The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New Hampshire. Get ready, China. guys. Big time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. Byron, you better get up and leave. Uh, because I don't, I don't think Mr. McMahon realizes you still work here. Oh, it makes me nervous. From Greenwich, Connecticut, Mr. McMahon. You know, Corey, when sometimes we show up at hotels in different towns at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, Mr. McMahon's there with his trainer heading to the gym. The physical embodiment of success. The man's got grapefruits the size of small planets and has to feel like a billion dollars stepping into the ring amidst his own creation. He's the boss. Oh, man. He's chairman and CEO of WWE. Mr. McMahon is someone you never want to cross. He just has too much power. Hey, Corey, what's been your favorite Mr. McMahon moment? When he was shaved bald or locked lips with Rikishi's posterior? For the safety of my job, I will not answer such questions, Byron. And if you value your job, you shouldn't be asking such questions. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? On second thought, ask me some more. Uh, uh, wait, good point. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. What a strike. Big time slam. Vicious. Three. Mr. McMahon may be starting to fade here. But this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. Well, she certainly seems to favor being outside the ring. Though for the life oh, of me, man. I cannot figure out why. It's been quite the back and forth battle for these women, guys. And I'm willing to bet that's the way it's going to be the rest of the way. It's no secret that Mr. McMahon can be brash, confrontational, and at times even explosive. At one point, Mr. McMahon had an exclusive club where members would kiss the part of his anatomy he uses to sit down. What a stomp! Good grief! She goes for the cover. Byron, you touched on something earlier. Mr. McMahon can most definitely be vain, smug, pompous, adversarial. At one point, the chairman of WWE referred to himself as a genetic jackhammer. Byron, you showed up on television dressed like a baby. Who are you to insult Mr. McMahon? Mr. McMahon knows what's best for the WWE locker room and the WWE universe better than they do themselves. Sometimes you have to crack a few eggs if you want to make an omelet. If someone doesn't like what Mr. McMahon's doing, that's just too bad. impact. Point of the elbow, nailed it. And she drops her. That was about as in your face as it gets. And it's Mr. McMahon with the reversal. Oh, God, that hurt. She's absorbing some offense here. But you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. Damn. We've got a cover. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. She came here to fight, not lay down. We're looking at complete domination here. Big move coming. Wait for it. Oh, 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 right to the skull. Mm. 
not so fast. Here comes the setup, double underhook. Vintage pedigree! The shoulders are down. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. That's a woman on a mission. She's taking care of business. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. And she earns the big victory here tonight. You can bet there's going to be a celebration tonight. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.